3. I slash TLAS was first detected on July 1st, 2025 by the Alas Survey Telescope in Chile. At first, it appeared unremarkable, a faint, slow-moving speck until its orbit revealed a crucial detail. It wasn't gravitationally bound to the sun. That meant it was interstellar, traveling through our solar system on a one-time trajectory. This makes three of eight only the third confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua 2017 and Boris 2019. Unlike those earlier visitors, however, 3-2-slash-Atlas was discovered early enough to organize an extensive observation campaign. Its path brought it unusually close to Mars. On October 3, 2025, the comet passed just 30 million kilometers from the Red Planet, close enough for sensitive cameras and spectrometers to detect its gas and dust emissions. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, is using its high-rise camera, a half-meter telescope capable of observing fine detail on Mars to capture faint images of the comet's coma and tail. Though the nucleus is too distant to resolve directly, tail ripples caused by interactions with the solar magnetic field. The European Space Agency, ESA, redirected its Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, TGO, toward the event. Their instruments, including the high-resolution stereo camera and CASAS, can analyze the spectra of sunlight reflected and absorbed by the comet's gases. Colin Wilson, ESA's project scientist, explained that while full detail isn't expected, these measurements could still reveal the chemical makeup of the coma and its overall activity pattern. China's Tanwen-1 orbiter joined the observation effort, adding another viewpoint from a different orbital angle. For several days, Mars became a temporary interplanetary observatory with all active orbiters united in studying an object that formed around another star before it vanishes again into deep space. Scientific importance and what we've learned so far. Every interstellar object offers a direct sample of another planetary system. Matter shaped in a completely different environment likely billions of years ago. 3i slash gives scientists a rare chance to compare alien chemistry with that of local comets. Observations from the James Webb Space Telescope JWST have already revealed a striking difference. Unlike most comets in our solar system, where water vapor dominates, 3 eighths emits primarily carbon dioxide with an estimated CO2 to water ratio of 81. This suggests it formed in a much colder region of its home system, one where CO2 ice is abundant and stable, perhaps similar to the outer Kuiper belt around a dimmer or a younger star. The comet's dust also behaves differently. Polar metric observations indicate an unusually strong negative polarization, meaning the dust particles scatter light in a way rarely seen amongst solar system comets. This could imply compact radiation hardened grains that have traveled for millions of years through interstellar space. 3i slash s environment near Mars is adding another dimension to the story. It appears to be moving through a disturbed region of the sun's magnetic field, where charged particles twist and interact with the comet's ion tail. If Mars orbiters detect waves or distortions in the tail, it would be the first direct observation of solar magnetic influence on interstellar material. Together, these findings are building a more detailed picture of how planetary systems expel icy bodies and how those bodies evolve as they drift between stars, compared with Yumiomua, which behaved unpredictably and showed no visible tail, or Borisov, which resembled a typical comet. 3i slash sits between both cases, active but chemically unusual. Scientists are cautious but optimistic. Each new interstellar object broadens our sense of how different planetary systems can be and how connected they are through shared cosmic debris. Implications and what comes next? Music. The Mars flyby is only one phase of a longer campaign. After October 3rd, 3 slash will continue inward toward its perihelion, the closest point to the sun around October 29th to 30th, 2025. As it nears the sun, 
its activity is expected to rise dramatically, releasing more gas and dust, and possibly reshaping its coma and tail. Clips behind the sun, observations from Earth will be impossible capturing how sunlight and temperature affect its composition over time. This will mark the first coordinated study of an interstellar comet from multiple planets and several ground-based telescopes create a multi-point network tracking one object from different angles and distances. This approach allows scientists to cross-verify data on its brightness, spectral emissions, and tail morphology as it reacts to solar radiation. The main scientific objective is to measure isotopic ratios in its gases, particularly carbon and oxygen.